This is question 13. Here I'm asked to simplify fully, and then I've got an algebraic fraction. I've got 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 over x squared minus 9. Now, when I'm asked to simplify an algebraic fraction, the way that I need to do this is I need to factorise the two expressions and see whether they have any common factors that I can cancel out. So I'm going to start by factorising this expression on the top. I've got 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. So to factorise this, what I should first of all recognise is that this is a quadratic expression in the form ax squared uh, plus bx plus c. So first thing that I have to do to factorise 2x squared minus 7x plus 3 is I'm going to label, and I'm just going to write this out again so it's a bit bigger, 2x squared minus 7x plus 3. I'm going to label the coefficients a, b, and c. So 2x squared, the, letter, the number in front of x squared is a, the number in front of x is b, and the number in front of, well, the number at the end is c. Then I'm going to work out what ac is equal to. So AC would be A multiplied by C. A multiplied by C gives me 2 times 3, which is 6. And then B is going to just be negative 7. So I work out what AC and B is first. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I've got a quadratic expression where the coefficient of x squared is greater than 1. Then from here, what I'm going to do is I now need to find two numbers which will multiply to make 6 but will add together to make negative 7. And I'm going to put that, because it's a quadratic, I know that I'm going to be putting it into double brackets. Um, I'm going to be putting that into double brackets and because it's 2x squared I'm going to be putting a 2x at the beginning but I also need to make sure that I divide it by 2. Reason being that if I were to expand this, obviously once I'd worked these values out, 2x multiplied by 2x would give me 4x squared, and obviously I can see that uh, the expression is 2x squared. So what two numbers are going to multiply to make 6, but sum to make negative 7? The numbers that I'm going to that will multiply to make 6 and sum to make negative 7 are going to be negative 6 and negative 1. What I then can see is that one of these brackets will divide by 2. So I can see that this bracket here will divide by 2. So I'm going to say that that is x minus 3 and 2x minus 1. So just dividing that expression on top by the 2. So I get x minus 3, 2x minus 1. So on the top of my fraction, I can say that this is x minus 3 and 2x minus 1. So I factorised it. This expression here can be written as x minus 3 multiplied by 2x minus 1. Now the next thing to do is to factorise this expression on the bottom. And hopefully what you should recognise is that I've got a square term minus another square term. And when you see this arrangement, a square term, x squared, minus by another square term, 3 squared, that this is the difference of two squares. And this is a special type of quadratic where I can say that it's going to be x minus 3, x plus 3. So um, a difference of two squares, if I were to expand this out, what this means is essentially that the negative 3x and the positive 3x that I would expand this to make, that those terms would cancel each other out, which would just leave me with the x squared and the minus 9. So what I have now done is I've factorised the um, expression on top, I've factorised the expression on the bottom, and what I can see is that the x minus 3s will cancel. 
x minus 3 divided by x minus 3 leaves me with just uh, a final answer of 2x minus 1 over x plus 3. So final answer is 2x minus 1 over x plus 3. Just a quick point here, I've kind of gone through this very quickly and I'm, I'm assuming some prior knowledge of how to factorise quadratics. If you are unsure on how to do that, there are some videos that you can use on my channel if this hasn't made sense. Uh, but final answer, 2x minus 1 over x plus 3.